Hey there, Tiny here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another squishy makeover because you guys seem to love these. So today's gonna be peanuts themed and I don't know if you guys are familiar with peanuts. I love Charlie Brown. I still watch the movies for like the holidays because they're like the best. So they're in pretty okay shape. Um, they're not that that bad, not like for like a Dr. Squishy or anything, but they do have a lot of imperfections. So I'm gonna start by using some of this sucky glow-in-the-dark paint and filling in the gaps. Once I do this, I'm going to take my little dog, which is gonna be Snoopy, and I paint him white. I actually ended up doing three layers of paint um, that pesky pink just kept coming out. Um, so three layers was good. Uh, I only did it to the face though because the ears I am going to paint black. Then I moved on to Woodstock. Now Woodstock took me about four layers in the back and three layers in the front. The back was just a little bit more difficult because of the fix that we did to paint but it still covered pretty well. So once I do that, I come back and I'm like, this kind of sunk. It didn't stick as well as the repair that I did for Woodstock. And so this is going to be Charlie Brown's face. And I added four layers of this skin color-ish. So I am going to draw his face and now Charlie Brown has like a little curl on his head and that's like his hair. That's all he's got. And then he has like two beady eyes and cute little like tiny eyebrows. So the hardest part for me is always like the mouth because the nose is kind of like a backward C. So that was pretty easy, but I decided to leave him with that a mouth. I didn't know if to make him like a little tiny mouth or if to make like that wide mouth that he smiles with sometimes. And so I just, yeah, didn't really draw one. But I think he looks cute because the way that I see him, he's like really cartoonish and kiddish and I like it. I, I might go back and add a mouth, but for now, no mouth just like this. I love him. I think he's adorable. Now for the next part I'm going to... oh so I think this was supposed to be like a wood stock like popsicle so I actually kept the stick because it was easier for me to paint but I will be cutting it off and for him I just do like a little smiley mouth and then I'm gonna do like squinty eyes because you know usually when he hugs he like has this little cute closed eye look and I really liked it so that's what I remember and that's how I'm gonna do it plus maybe it's easier than to actually draw him out I'm not sure I just eh. so I outline his hair um, because in the cartoons he kind of has like an outline everywhere but I didn't feel bold enough to do this I feel like I might have messed it up so I kind of just highlighted some of his hair um, to be black and then I do the little tiny lines for his eyes. And I love it. I love it. And next, I'm going to do Snoopy. The good part about this dog was that he already pretty much looked like Snoopy. Like the eyes and the nose. So I'm just going to follow that. Snoopy does have little eyebrows as well. It's funny because beagles actually have like little eyebrows I, I look at Paco all the time and I think that he looks like a little kid because of his little tiny eyebrows. And so Snoopy has two little eyebrows, which I'm going to draw. And then once I'm done with all this, I can go ahead and paint his little ears black. I wish that I wouldn't have painted them all the way. I think it would have looked better if I would have just painted the whole dog white and I only did the details in the front. But I actually ended up painting the whole entire ear black. I mean, it doesn't bother me when I look like forward, like straight ahead. But like when I turn it, I'm like, ah, it's so, like the whole side is black. So I could have done that better. I think. 
So I just apply the fabric paint on the ears and do that whole side. And once I'm done with that side, I move on to the other side. And I feel like overall, it was really, really easy to draw. They did become a lot more slow rising. Um, Woodstock didn't have any rise at all. It was like a hard sponge. And you know, now that when you squeeze them a little bit, it kind of has like a little, like a little kickback, which it didn't have before. That's what I love about fabric paint. It makes your squishy even squishier. On a side note, I'm thinking of bunching this pumpkin makeovers together, kind of like I do with the squishy makeovers and do maybe like three at a time or so. But I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what you prefer. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite Peanuts character and also leave me suggestions on what I should do for the next squishy makeover. And there they are you guys. I think they're so cute and I think they look just like the cartoons so I'm very happy with them. Thanks so much for watching.